Yeah, when I was growing up, um, I always wanted to play rugby for England, but it was never going to be a profession. It was not a professional game. Um, and even in my early days at Northampton, it was still very much amateur. It wasn't until it went professional did I realise that, well, not only could I play for England, but actually this could be a job for the next 10 years. So yeah, it was, it was pretty much a pipe dream to, for, it, to, for rugby to be a profession. Managed to keep myself relatively fit and healthy. That then gave me lots of opportunities to play all over the world, play for some great teams. Uh, and I was quite conscious of embracing the excellence that was around me um, so that hopefully it would rub off on me a little bit. I was always very feisty and combative. Um, I, th I think it is probably you know, part DNA, part surroundings, part upbringing. Um, you've got to have a bounce of the ball along the way as well. Um, but certainly my, my character has always been extremely competitive. Um, I maybe have sort of slightly calmed it down a little bit as I've got older, but that stood me in good stead when I was not only playing on the rugby field, but when you're going up against other people in your position and you're chasing selection, understanding how you fit in all of that um, it is, is important, it's important in daily life. You, you, you want to be the best that you possibly can, but then you've got to be very mindful of other people around you. That team back in 2003 were obviously unique, as most teams are unique, um, but they had, some, they had some incredible characters within that team. You know, we had some incredible players, amazing players, in that you, you could argue six, seven, eight world-class players in that uh, starting 15 in 2003 uh, and players that could change the game. The common goal and the common driver behind those individuals to want to win the game and look left and look right at their teammates uh, and truly believe and understand that if they give their all they know that their teammates are going to give their all, led by a captain, Martin Johnson, who you knew was going to give his all. Um, it, it was the preparation, the planning, and the performance was second to none. I would like to think that the audience are um, pleasantly surprised in maybe my um, my humility, maybe my sort of understanding of the corporate market. I get myself out into the corporate market day to day. That is where I spend my life. Um, and I think that does shock people that I actually probably know a little bit how the dynamics of the business are, opposed to being sat on a panel show with, with Phil Tufnell and, and Sue Barker. And my background for the last 10 years being in, in the corporate world, then all of a sudden the, the dynamic of the room changes. We can have that sort of lighter moments when you're relaying stories from rugby or from television. But then also when it comes down to um, how teams work within the business community, I think there's a little bit more credibility than maybe they were expecting to give me.